Hello everyone, my name is Ashley Flores and I'm a Family Engagement Coordinator for City Park Elementary School. Hello, my name is Raquel Cardona. I'm the Family Engagement Coordinator for Dalton Public Schools. In today's topic, we are going to talk about children and teenager depression, its symptoms and signs, how to differentiate between depression and sadness, how to talk with your child about depression, how to help your child to manage depression, and when to seek professional help. Can kids and teenagers suffer from depression? Yes, children and teenagers can experience depression just like adults. Research shows there are many possible factors that lead to depression, including family history, stressors, and life events, and environment. Can you tell us what are common signs and symptoms of depression? These are some of the symptoms that you may see in teenagers. These include a change from the teenager's previous attitude and behavior that can cause significant distress and problems at school or home, in social activities, or in other areas of life. Feeling sad or hopeless most of the day, nearly every day, acting irritable or being on edge, loss of interest in activities they used to enjoy, low self-esteem or confidence, low energy or seeming more tired than usual, having a difficult time concentrating, feeling worthless, unimportant, or not valued, changes in appetite and or weight, changes in sleep, frequent thoughts or death and or suicide, frequent physical complaints that do not get better with treatment or have no known medical cause, such as headaches and stomach aches. Children or adolescents can suffer from depression without experiencing all the symptoms listed above. Symptoms can vary from person to person, and they even change from day to day. While some children may display obvious signs of sadness, others may appear distracted or irritable. How do I know if it is depression or just uh, sadness? It is normal for every child to feel sad, down, or have the blues from time to time. It is an ordinary part of growing up. Still, there's a difference between feeling down sometimes and experiencing cl clinical depression. When it comes to teens, it can be a little more challenging to feel, to tell the difference between sadness and depression. On top of the increased social and academic pressures, teens are dealing with a lot, a lot of hormonal developmental changes that may make them appear moody, on edge, or overly emotional at times. To help you understand the difference between a child experiencing sadness and a child experiencing depression, pay attention to the signs and symptoms we mentioned above. With depression, the symptoms will likely be present nearly every day for most of the day or at least two weeks. Depression affects a person's functioning, including their ability to maintain social and familial relationships, sleep, concentrate, perform at school, or engage in certain activities. How can I talk to my child about depression? Many of the tips for talking to your child with depression are good practices anyone can benefit from. Start the conversation and follow your child's lead. You don't have to wait for your child to come to you to talk about their feelings. Saying things like, I'm wondering how you are feeling, or tell me more about that, is a great way to, to let your child lead the conversation. Encourage and allow your child to speak freely about their feelings and try to actively listen instead of interrupting or making assumptions. Validate feelings instead of dismissing them. As hard, it, as, hard as it may seem to watch your child suffer, resist the urge to try to fix it or to dismiss their feelings by saying things like, don't worry or don't think like that. Many times, kids just want to feel seen, heard, and understood. Genuinely validate their, your child's feelings and let them know you're listening by repeating back what you hear without any judgment. Let your child know their feelings are normal and that it's okay to feel they, the way they do. Share your calm. Kids look to adults for cues on how to feel or react. So as hard as it may be, try to stay calm while talking to your child about how they are feeling. If you react too strongly, your child may feel discouraged from sharing feelings with you again in the future. If you react calmly and with com compassion, your child will likely feel reassured and comforted. So how can I help my child manage depression? Keep simple routines. When your child is down or clearly struggling, you may think you should ease up on certain routines or expectations. While being understanding and flexible is important, Maintaining certain routines creates 
predictability and allows your child to feel more comfortable and secure. Even something as simple as having consistent meal times, wake times, and bedtimes can be comforting for a child of any age. Maintain healthy habits, getting enough sleep, getting balanced nutrition, and being physically active all have positive impacts, impacts on both the mind and body. Not only do healthy habits improve physical wellness, they contribute to emotional wellness too. Practice healthy coping strategies. Help your child learn how to manage their feelings and stress with healthy coping strategies. It's difficult to learn something new when, when we are anxious, upset, or distracted. So introduce coping skills when everyone is calm. Be sure to practice coping skills regularly so that they become a habit, just like brushing your teeth. When should I seek professional help for my child? If you are worried that your child is showing potential signs of depression or you have other concerns about their emotional wellness, do not hesitate to reach out to your child's pediatrician or mental health professional. Depression can be hard on the entire family, so other family members may also need the support of a, of a professional. We would like to inform you that in an effort to address the social emotional well-being of students, Dalton Public Schools introduce its Student Assistant Program. This program provides free counseling and mental health services for individuals who are experiencing anxiety, stress, or have, or have ever experienced a traumatic event in their lives. To access these services, students or parents should contact their school counselor for a referral. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.